ePlant Settings Part 2 Configurate and perform the wiring list export. To start the routing, open an ePlant project, select the entire control cabinet. To do this, hold down the left mouse button and drag a window over all objects in the building space. For routing, all parts must be selected with the cursor. When you have selected all parts, perform the routing, click on Project Data, Connections and click on Routing. The routing process starts. Now we generate the routing of the control cabinet. The next step is to perform the data export. To do this, select Export Labeling under the following path Utilities, Manufacturing Data and click on Export Labeling. If you do this for the first time, you have to configure the export data. Therefore, click on the three dots. Select Settings, select Wire Assist Schemes, which you have saved in the beginning in the Program folder. If necessary, click on the Import icon to select the schemes. Click on the disk to save the selection. Under the target file, set the destination folder in which to place the export for the wiring list. Click on OK and now we have defined which scheme has to be used and where to save the generated Excel file. Click on Apply to the entire project and start the export by clicking on OK. Now the Excel file is generated and will be immediately opened. Open the generated wiring list inside the destination folder and check on the details of the wiring information for completeness. Here you can see the wiring information. Make sure that the designations for the wire termination processing are according to the table from the manual to make sure that the ClipX viruses software can process the data. After checking the wiring list for completeness, you are ready to import the wiring list to the ClipX viruses software.